Two Forks Tower. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Oh, is that it? Henry, well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down. 
down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Do you think you can handle that? I'm sorry it's not in the job description. Look, just go down there, okay? Make sure they stop with this shit. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Hey, what's the code again? One, two, three, four. A whole lot of them. Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Harmless, but yeah. One of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Which is kind of what the job attracts. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos.
how do you expect me to get down this? <laughs> well, did you get that rope? Yeah, I got it. Okay, just lash it to something nearby and take it slow. Hey, I'm going the right way if I'm at the shale slide, right? Toward the fireworks? You're not lost. Those fireworks are going off to the west of you. It's down the slide and across the meadow, okay? <sighs> no, no, no! wrong with you my rope snapped coming down the shale slide you didn't break anything did you no I think I'll make it well be careful for Christ's sake it is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake I haven't been down there in years but yeah Jonesy Lake area is perfect Finding a bunch of empty beer cans, they threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties? There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? There's a... Uh, ooh. Yes? I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. <laughs> Enjoy dealing with that. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes, spying on us? Give him a break, Lily. He probably hasn't seen boobs in 20 years. <laughs> He's probably still a virgin. Look, I'm sorry for bothering you. Can you just knock it off, please? Yeah, you should be. This is a free country, and we should be free to do whatever we want. And free from any peeping Tom. I said sorry! Oh my god, is that what you are? Fork me out! Ew! Can we just get out of here? Ew, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Hey, that go okay? took their stereo. Okay, well, uh, I guess we're all leaving then? Yeah, I think so. But seriously, though, thanks for dealing with it. I should probably make sure those Roman candles aren't there when they come back. So there's no, uh, noise ordinances or rules out here? Uh, no, but that music I hear makes a good case for them. Yeah, no kidding. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes.
Yeah, right now, though, it's all snowmelt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Start to feel like it. to make what is it um look i was i was drunk last night when i welcomed you to the job yeah well you're not the first boss to be guilty of that i know i just i know i can get a little pushy you know putting you on the spot about uh why you're out here and stuff it's fine i'll, I'll minimum anyway let me know when you get back to your lookout. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not gonna strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. Hello? This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Uh, that's too bad. I used to go caving in Colorado a lot with someone. Would be really nice to pick that back up. Fond memories, huh? Big time. I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out for those keys. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> There's some guy out here. Some guy? Yeah, I came out of this cave in a canyon and he was just... Being some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's, it's, it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun.
You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns, anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. The place is trashed. Okay, I put in a call. That was fast. Yeah, well, do you have any idea who could have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I just don't worry about it. Perfect. Keep that attitude up and you'll have an excellent summer. Wake up! Hey, wake up! I'm awake, I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. That would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a... Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, all right.
It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know. Just used to spend a lot of time with our dog, Mayhem. Mayhem? What kind of name is that? He was a German Shepherd, big as a truck. So why not call him Chevy? Well, we, uh, we walked out of the shelter and there was some graffiti on a trash can and it said, Dicko Mayhem. And um, he walked over and peed all over it and there you go. <laughs> That's a really cute story? It is what it is. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just going to keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Uh, hey, your I'm button is still down. Sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, I, I thought about it, and that story is cute, and, um... Sorry, but, but you said we? You, you owned him with someone? Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Thank you. 
Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you... ...it's are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. It took off halfway through the summer. Is Ned that guy from the note I told you about? About the guy leaving his post? Oh, uh, could be, yeah. But I think at one point they just realized this job wasn't for them. For Brian, at least. Huh. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it, and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do.
know if it makes you feel any better, you're a member of a diverse club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. I mean, I assume you went through a breakup. At least that's my best guess at this stage. There was Vernon, whose wife got put away for running cocaine. Becca, who was widowed after her husband, a jockey, was trampled by his horse. And Sharon, whose boyfriend had his own boyfriend. Okay, that jockey story is actually about you, huh? <laughs> no. But can you believe that? It's crazy, right? Well, so then who? I'm the rare breed. My heart's intact. That doesn't mean I didn't join up to get away, but there's more to life than sex and romance. I, I don't think about anything I'm missing out here that I could be getting back there. That's great. You should buy a lottery ticket when you get home. Wyoming doesn't have the lottery. Well, come to Colorado. I'll take you to the res. It's not luck. I just choose not to let a man dictate how my life goes. Well, that's not normal. Whatever you say, Hank. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what? You like that? This guy is the freaking king of the flapjacks. Yeah, that's solid. I'll have to keep that one in my pocket. It's all yours. Who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid.